but that got us thinking about quarterbacks under the most pressure. Acho, get us started. Who are you going with, with the number one? Oh, boy, y'all better run them deep routes. Only way you scoring on my defense. Oh, we got a good pass rush though on my defense. That's all we got. <laughs> okay, QBs under the most pressure is not my off-camera quarterback because he got an arm. He got but at number gun. five, it's Russell. Wilson. I like that. Russell Wilson, he's under, he's a fifth quarterback under the most pressure mm. because everybody is expecting Russell to take the Broncos from a seven-win team to a playoff team. I, like I think Russell Wilson is capable of that. Problem, Patrick Mahomes, mm. Justin Herbert, mm. Derek Carr. Get Russell low. Wilson is in a division with a whole lot of talent, so yeah. a whole lot of pressure because, Russ, the expectations are high. You've been to a Super Bowl before. You're a first ballot Hall of Famer. It's time to see what you're going to do. At number four, how about the quarterback in his division, Derek Carr? Derek Carr? Derek Carr Pressure? has an MVP vote. Derek Carr is a three-time pro bowler. But the issue with Derek Carr is this. We just gave you the best receiver in football. Yeah. We've believed in you for roughly eight years now. Who are you? Mm. I gave you the statistic before, Sal. So if money. you do not get to a Super Bowl within the first six or seven years of a franchise, you're just not getting it. It's there. not happening. Now, we saw Matt Ryan get to a Super Bowl with the Atlanta Falcons nine years later. We saw Peyton Manning win a Super Bowl with the uh, Indianapolis Colts, I believe it was six or eight years later. But Derek Carr, if you can't do it hmm. with Devontae Adams, you just can't do it. It's time to move off of you. Hmm. Number three. Let's go. Dak Prescott, baby. Dak Prescott's Don't under a lot of pressure. He plays for the Cowboys. It's always pressure. But, but he ain't going nowhere. They can't do anything to him. They gave him his money. He Dak. He Dak. All he of dak. that is true. He dak. But eventually, you know, the first year you get your money, it's the honeymoon year. Yeah. Oh, we true. paid him. He's literally untouchable. That's it. By the second year that you've gotten your money, now we will look at you sideways. To mm -hmm. your point, Dak can't go nowhere. Contract essentially fully guaranteed. So he ain't going nowhere. But we will start to look at him some type of way if once again the Cowboys do not win a playoff game. He is one in three in the playoffs. Playoffs, making $40 million a year. That is a lot of pressure. Mm. But my top two spots. Let's go. Let's go. Tie. It's 1A. It's 1B. Mm. It's Jalen Hurts. It's Tua Tunga Bailoa. I don't even know how they do him up there. It's Hurts and Tua Tunga Bailoa. It's a lot of pressure for these two. Mm. Let me start by saying it like this Tua, we gave you Tyreek Kill, a five time all pro. Pro Bowl caliber player. So we gave you mm. the most dangerous wide receiver in football when it comes to what he can do to a defense. Jalen Hurts, we gave you A.J. Brown. We got rid of a first-round pick for you in A.J. Brown. Last year, we used a first-round pick to draft a Heisman-winning receiver mm. in Devontae Smith. Not only that, we used a first-round pick the year before to draft a wide receiver in Jalen Rager. Jalen Hurts, we handed you the keys to the car, and then we up the upgraded the whip, and we put the rims on it. We have done everything possible for you, but why are they both 1A and 1B? Dolphins, two first-round picks next year. You better believe if Tua Tungabai <laughs> does not show up, they are trading up to get a quarterback. You already know. Eagles, two first-round picks next year. Mm -hmm. You better believe if Jalen Hurts does not show up, they are trading up to get a quarterback. Bryce Young. There. Bingo. <laughs> Bryce Young, C.J. Stroud, yes, two of the top Stroud. quarterbacks supposed to come out next year. Mm. So these two quarterbacks are the two in which they don't ball. They will lose their jobs. The rest are fine. They're just going to lose a little bit of pride, uh. a little bit of dignity, maybe a little uh. bit of money. Yeah. But the top two, if they don't fall, mm. they're going to lose their jobs. Man, I want a pressure situation. I can't hear you at the end say, they are fine. That ain't pressure. <laughs> and then the top two, not even top ten guys. So what kind of pressure are you really under? I got clowned yesterday by Acho. I'm going to give you all my list because I prepped the wrong question. He thought I was right. Today, I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm going to give you all my top five quarterbacks, but they also are the ones under the most pressure. Let's start off with number five, Matthew Stafford. Um, last time I checked, you got a coach offensively minded that is a genius, right? And no one wants you to come to L.A., win a Super Bowl, and then we were like, that was a fluke. What are you going to do to back up that performance? Now, there's pressure because Odell Beckham Jr., you're not in the building. Who's your true number two out there? A lot of people, including me, Cooper Cup, amazing. Did he overachieve last year? Is he going to be able to sustain that level? Where is your running game? How healthy will it be? How consistent will it be? The defense, you lose a Von Miller. We're going to see how you guys make up for that. Matthew Stafford, it was a honeymoon last year that ended perfectly. What you going to do to back up that performance? Let's go to number four. Let's go to the GOAT and Tom Brady. Tom Brady, once again, wins a Super Bowl. Matthew Stafford model, he borrowed it from Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. Go to a new team, win a Super Bowl. The next year, uh, not the same results. Then you retire. Then you come back. 
Now you're making more money than the whole world got. You and Jeff Bezos got the most money. But respect to Tom Brady, and now you're thinking about your next now. It's a conversation to be had of what the results will be. If I'm Tom Brady, I, I can't retire. I'm in the MVP conversation still. I had career numbers in some statistics. Tom Brady's under some pressure to see how the team's success will go back to what it was year one, or will it keep regressing like year two? Let's go with number three. My favorite quarterback, 1A, 1B favorite. Justin Herbert. Herbie, baby! It's time to get in the playoffs, dog. Mm. I'm tired of waiting in the True. club, holding your table down, True. and I'm waiting on you to show up with the credit card. Where you at, Herbert? Come on. All of this talk about how great you are, which I know is real, and all my talent is around you, which I know is real. Now you got a defense. I know it's real. You got to make it happen. Here's the caveat. This damn division this year is so silly. It's going to be difficult to get a win, but Herbert, no excuses, bro. Time to come in the club. Number two, interesting choice right here. Aaron Rodgers. Why? Aaron Rodgers, you took all the money. True. Yeah, right, right. You got all the money. You lost Devontae Adams. And now you reloaded your defense. But offensively, who are you going to throw the ball to consistently? Ah, that's going to be a conversation for another day. But a back-to-back -back MVP must figure it out. But a ton of pressure because of all the off-season talk and conversation and issues with him. And you got all the money and not the resources. But number one, let's go to the top dog. Josh Allen, come on, man. It's time to get over this hump. I don't know how big this hump is. Is it a mountain or is it a hump? It's time for him to advance. Patrick Mahomes, get out the way. I need you to get to the Super Bowl. I need you to not stop short at the AFC Championship game once again. Last year, I got a heart attack watching that game. What was it, 13 seconds ago? I thought the Buffalo Bills advanced. He outperformed Patrick Mahomes. It was an insane performance. He's amazing. He's my dude, him and Justin Herbert. But it's time for you to get to the next level. That's Super Bowl. Let me ask you this. Let's go. Josh Allen, remember, he gets knocked out uh, before the championship game because championship game, we end up getting Chiefs. Yeah, 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 true, true. Is it enough for him to just get to the AFC championship ago. game? No, because he was there two years ago. Yeah. No, can't do that again. We can't do that again. Can you separate this for me? Because I was torn. Hurts to a both of their oh. jobs, I think, are up if they, do, they don't ball this year. Yeah. Both teams added prime elite receivers, obviously, to a Tyree Kill, Hurts, A.J. Brown. Both are under relatively new coaches, Nick Sirianni, Mike McDaniel. Separate that 1A, 1B for Okay, me. let me play agent for them. Right now, they're not in the same position. Tua. Look, we understand how many coaches you've had? Multiple, right? Same as Hurts. Same thing is Tua, there's been conversation undermining him from hello. What Hurts, it hasn't been the same level in terms of undermining. Plus, he has better receivers. Let's just show it like it is. If Tyreek Hill's your number one, there is some question of what type of number one receiver is that? Just a deep threat or a guy who's going to run all the routes? A.J. Brown is a different type of number one. He can run all the routes. He will run all the routes. Tyreek Hill, different conversation. I think you have it right. I think that Tua, multiple coaches, not always supported, will land on his feet. I think if Jalen Hurts, if he fails this year, he won't land on his feet. He'll land a little sideways, a little awkwardly. You know who I could have on my list? I actually think Herbert should be cemented on a list. He could be my six because we preach about Herbert as if he is so, so great, but then we look into what he's actually done and what he's actually won, and there's just nothing to show for it. I won't name the artist, though. I won't name the artist. But one time I was looking up one of my favorite artists, and I was like, oh, let me see how many Grammys they have. They've been atop the industry forever. And I saw, like, two Grammys. Two? And I was taken aback mm. because, you know, the Kanye's of the world have 20, the Beyonce's okay. of the world have 20, 30, mm. 40, et cetera. Mm. And mm. I saw two, and I was like, are you as good as is I think. Mm. And so when I think about Justin Herbert, no playoff appearances, no playoff wins, eventually even you were going to have to be like, yo, is he as, as good as I think? I, I, I know it's the quarterback position and it's different than the running back position, but I never doubted Barry Sanders, who never won a Super Bowl, who never appeared in the Super Bowl. Like, sometimes... I, 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 I'm giving you the whole position difference, but I can't go there. I'm looking at Justin Herbert like you're all time. His first two years are NFL all time. Now it's time for him to trans transition that to the team. Make that translate to a uh, team wins. But I can't put it on Herbert. I can't put it on Herbert, but I know how everyone's going to perceive the situation. That's why he's on my list. Let's go over here, though. Please do.
Hasn't Derek Carr been able to hide for so many years? Been and you hiding. think, look, he got another been contract. Hiding. Y'all like this contract. Cut. He been getting paid. He been hiding. He been getting paid, and now he has Devontae Adams. You think just the presence of Devontae Adams changes all the pressure for him? The reason being is when I think about Derek Carr over the course of his career since he came into the league, we've never really seen Derek Carr with an elite target. Mm. Like with an elite wide receiver. Even when I think about the Raiders, Raiders wide receivers, Darren Waller's been their guy for the last three years. Cooper, That's a tight end. Amari, Amari Cooper in. was there for a good three years, yeah. but they didn't love him so much that they, they were willing to move off of him. Good point. Amari Cooper was great, mm. but Amari Cooper was great for a young receiver. You know mm. how it yeah, goes. Yeah, like, yeah. oh man, he a beast. He a beast for a young receiver. Yeah, yeah. He was giving you 900 yards, 1,100 yards, yeah. 1,200 yeah. yards, 1,100 yards. Devontae Adams gives you 1,400 yards, Mm. gives you 1,300 yards. Devontae Adams is great for a great receiver. Mm. Amari Cooper was great for a young receiver. That's different lanes, different tax brackets. If Carr can't get it done with Adams, it's a wrap. But, Sal, I think the most telling note, and this is my favorite telling note, you know if a quarterback can win with a team within his first six years. Yeah, yeah. If you can't win with your team within your first six or so years, I'm worried about you. Derek Carr has passed that six-year mark. Define it's a wrap. I just don't see any consequence for Derek hey. Carr in success or failure for him. It's going to be the same. Derek Carr will likely become who Matt Ryan became in Atlanta. Oh. Good quarterback. Great quarterback. MVP caliber year. Mm-hmm. Derek Carr, remember, he already had an MVP vote. Mm-hmm. Derek Carr, three pole bowls. But eventually, they'll look at you like, hey, you were good for us, but you're never going to get it done for us, and they'll move on from you eventually uh, like the Falcons did uh. with Matt Ryan, or they'll try to replace you. Remembering, I love when Colin says mm. this, Derek Carr is good enough to keep the Raiders in NFL purgatory. Matt Ryan kept the Falcons in NFL purgatory. You're never going to be good enough to win us a Super Bowl, mm. but you're never going to be bad enough to give us a top five pick. Mm. So eventually, we end up being the 12th to 17th best team in the league. We're never going to win, but not be bad enough to rebuild. We're just stuck. Derek Carr, looking if you elsewhere. keep the Raiders in purgatory, yeah. eventually they're going to move on from you. They may be looking elsewhere, huh? That's your draft day, girlfriend. You're good enough to get me here, but I'm, mm, this league is different. Come on.